Distribution zu belegen. Peter, what made, made you decide to open a stall in the Coventry market? Well, the opportunity presented itself. Um, I thought I was in the position to carry on and do it. Consequently, I carried on and did it. But surely it must present a lot of problems running a stall like this. For example, how do you sort of open up in the mornings? There are no problems that can't be overcome. Um, Mr. Layton, my neighbour, he opens up in the morning for me. Um, and I get a lot of help from all the market traders, customers and everybody alike. Neil, did you decide to come into the venture with Peter when he first mentioned it? Well, I was a bit fed up with life up in Scotland. It was kind of cold down the winter, so I was hoping that it would be warmer down here, but I'm afraid I haven't found that. <laughs> but you both sort of came in as partners, or do you just help him? I just help him, you know, just to get started. How did you first meet, both of you? Yeah, Stoke Mandeville Hospital in Aylesbury. We were both here there well, many years ago. I'd rather not say how many. Peter, what does Stoke Mandeville do for you? Exactly how does it rehabilitate you? It equips you the best, in the best possible manner that it can, up to the point. And then it's up to you. Where you go from there is your decision. In what sort of way, though, does it equip you? Um, for instance, it teaches you to, uh, a very basic problem. When you're, when you're first disabled, you have to dress yourself. Stoke Mandeville encourages you, you to do most things for yourself and then you're discharged and you're on your own. What would you have done, do you think, if you'd not been paralysed? It's very difficult to say what I would have done, but I always had an inclination to join the Navy, but uh, that was just a boyish dream, whether, whether I would have done or not, I don't know. What about you, Neil? What would you have done? I don't think I'd have done anything if I'd got off with it. <laughs> is there nothing that just you... Just gives me a fine excuse for doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but is there nothing that you think possibly you would have been capable of doing had you not been disabled? Well, I was interested in sport and I was disabled while playing sport and I have a notion I might have, I don't know, maybe a den is lost or something <laughs> like that. Go. You think I can? Yeah, try it. Oh, oh yeah, really, that's good. That's good. How long have you been playing basketball then? Uh, Fourteen years, approximately. Well, how did you uh, get on to the British paraplegic team? Well, just by being good enough. Surely there are lots of people who'd like to get a place in the British paraplegic team. Yeah, well, all of the best are chosen. <laughs> because you've both been abroad representing England in various paraplegic games. Where exactly have you been to? Well, um, Australia, Jamaica, Israel, Tokyo, Rome, and various other European countries. And oh, Edin Edinburgh. Edinburgh. <laughs> over a period of what time this is this? Edinburgh. This is uh, over um, since 1958. What's it like at the paraplegic games? Well, it's very good. Nice atmosphere, isn't it, Neil? Yeah. Which country did you like the best? Or sad, of course. I've <laughs> <laughs> seen all these disabled. <laughs> <laughs> Which country did you like best? Which isn't a loaded question. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to patronise you, but Jamaica I thought was quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> you also play ping pong, both of you, don't you? In fact, Peter, yeah. you are the champion as well. Well, I won the national championship this year, but, but Neil's pretty close to me. And, if he practices yeah. a bit harder, he might do it this year. I got sympathetic. <laughs> I really got sympathetic. But in fact, you beat Neil for the championship. Yes, yeah. I did. Do you sort of swap over championship? Well, One year you have it, and the next year. No, no, no. no I'm not intending that no, this no. year. He's he's uh, about half a degree better than me. <laughs> where do you... Everything's by degree. Well, where do you practice? Well, we both play in the Coventry. We've played in the Coventry Works League this year. Mm -hmm. Um, I pr play for Municipal Sports Association, and Neil plays for the Reynold Chain. We've both been members of the team that won our di respective divisions. Is 
there any one place that paraplegics can go to in Coventry to sort of meet socially? No, it's very oh. bad. For disabled sport, Coventry is, um, is an outback. Um, there's just no facilities. Um, many people have tried to, um, to help us in this respect. Like this gymnasium, for instance, has been... Um, we're, we're allowed to use it for basketball practice. But generally there's no organised disabled sport in Coventry. Okay, I'll leave you to get on with it.